So today, we're going to be talking about the future of wireless technology or wireless communication. So globally, Wi-Fi is completely dominating the market. All communications these days are based on the Wi-Fi industry. And we hear about Wi-Fi all the time because frankly, we need Wi-Fi all the time. But just take a moment to imagine a world where light is literally technology. I mean, just think about that idea. The light that you can see all around you could one day become a reservoir of data and it could become the, hub, the hallmark of wireless technology, not Wi-Fi. But it's a different form of communication. And this might be a little difficult for you to wrap your mind around, but this isn't some fantastical idea that I'm bringing up. It's something that's already in development. And it's not, it's not a millennia away. It's not some, something that uh, is just the concept. It's something that's being developed. And this isn't even a decade away. It's probably only a few years away. It, it's going to come up before the turn of the decade. And this term that I'm talking about, it's called Li-Fi. And to understand Li-Fi, I'll just give a brief uh, summary of how wireless technology, of how Wi-Fi works and its components. So the term wireless is a broad term that encompasses all types of technology that can transmit data without wires. And examples of wireless devices are all around you. These include TV, remote GPS system, radios, or any device that uses Bluetooth. But perhaps the most important wireless technology, of course, is Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is just um, a version of wireless technology. It's not the only thing that uses wireless technology. It's only a type of wireless technology. And that's what's important because Li-Fi is also another type of wireless technology. So uh, here's just a, some information about how Wi-Fi works. And Wi-Fi uses radio waves instead of wires to connect to devices, unlike Ethernet. So here's a, just a short, uh, just the compressed chart of how the wireless router network diagram operates. So it usually consists of a wireless router that transmits data many times per second to all the devices that you use to uh, connect to the internet. And of course, Wi-Fi is used widely on every continent except, except Antarctica for obvious reasons. And the significance of Wi-Fi, most importantly, is that it encompasses 60% of all the world's internet traffic. And it's definitely the most, one of the most popular things in the world right now. Because literally, almost, like, our life literally depends on Wi-Fi. And here's a quote I just want, to con con want you to consider. Imagine a world where you can connect to high-speed internet just by flicking on your light switch. And that's what this technology Li-Fi, that's, that's the hallmark of Li-Fi technology. That's literally the definition. And that's what makes Li-Fi so great. So what exactly is Li-Fi? What exactly am I talking about? Li-Fi, just like Wi-Fi, sounds really similar too, is a wireless technology. It's literally just a different version of wireless technology. And this technology uses LEDs for data transmission instead of um, the radio waves that Wi-Fi uses. And like Wi-Fi, like Wi-Fi, Li-Fi also uses a form of electromagnetic uh, wavelength of light or any or a different type of frequency that are close to the visual, visible light spectrum instead of the, the radio wave spectrum, which is really left, something that none of us can observe. The Li-Fi technology that I'm going to be talking about, we can actually see it. It's just visible light, infrared, and some ultraviolet light. So how exactly does Li-Fi alert work? Li-Fi uses infrared or near visible light. And um, together, the Li-Fi uh, spectrum is about 2,000 times the entire size of the radio frequency spectrum. And that's the reason why Li-Fi is so great. It can transmit speeds of up to 220 gigabytes per second, which is 32 times faster than the fastest known Wi-Fi technology. And since it encompasses a wide range of elect electromagnetic frequencies, we won't get into this data crunch thing in Wi-Fi where we're running out of data points, where we're running out of frequencies that we can use Wi-Fi without lowering speeds. 
then Li-Fi will remain fast no matter what frequency you use it at. And it's very fast. Even even the lowest uh, speed of Li-Fi is like 15 times faster than the slowest speed of than the fastest speed of Wi-Fi. Of course, the fastest one being 32 times faster. So Li-Fi uses a visible light communication system, or ACA, another visible light spectrum technology, and that device basically acts as the router. And Li-Fi, for any device to be a Li-Fi router, it just has to meet the VLT system. And we can literally use light bulbs and lamp posts as what Li-Fi technology. So the Li-Fi benefits and costs. So Li-Fi on average is 100 times faster than Wi-Fi. 100 times faster. That is just like incredible. That's why Li-Fi is going to be so great for us. It's going to be just so much faster than Wi-Fi. Since Li-Fi utilizes LED technology, which is much cheaper than Wi-Fi technology, which uses modern day routers and complex technology that none of us, that's not easy to manufacture. It takes a great amount of energy and cost to manufacture Li-Fi using simple LED, LED technology already widely used in TVs and LED bulbs. It's going to make Li-Fi much more energy efficient and less costly. It's going to be much cheaper than Wi-Fi. And it's also going to be a lot more available because LED light bulbs and lampposts, those sorts of things are everywhere. And the Li-Fi benefits are just immense. It's not only much secure since uh, um, it doesn't travel nearly as far as Wi-Fi. So that's actually one drawback of Li-Fi. It doesn't travel as far as either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz of Wi-Fi. But that also makes it much more secure. And it's much more interference-free too. It's also more reliable since it's a lot faster. Uh, which means a lower latency. Uh, 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 Li-Fi latency is about three times lower than Wi-Fi. And this makes it ideal for AR and VR technology as well as automation application and it virtually eliminates all health concerns. So Wi-Fi uses radio waves which might be um, carcinogenic. It's probably not but there are some uh, slight health concerns but Wi-Fi using, visible, using the visible light spectrum poses no health risks whatsoever. So the Wi-Fi cons of course is limited range since it doesn't travel as much and another Another drawback is it requires an active light source. But that's actually, in my view, a benefit since an active light source is much easier to, to obtain than a Wi-Fi router. But I guess it depends on how you guys see it. So Li-Fi applications. So the most important thing about Li-Fi that you should take out of this presentation is that um, Li-Fi is a great solution to the, to the the just the growing consumption of data that's being used up by Wi-Fi. So since Wi-Fi is consuming so much wireless data, um, it's using a, a lot of radio frequency space. And as we increase the number of radio frequencies that are in the air, uh, it just continues lowering our speed. So you might see that a Wi-Fi router or any sort of Wi-Fi wi -Fi technology slows down over time. And that's because you're using more and more frequencies of radio waves. But Li-Fi is a great solution because the Wi-Fi radio because the Li-Fi uh, visible light frequency is much wider than the Wi-Fi frequency. And of course, there's, there's just a few more applications of Li-Fi. It can act as a cellular communication because it can be placed outside, you know, street lamps and other Li-Fi hotspots. We can place them anywhere we want to. We can use them in uh, EMI sensitive environments. So uh, you know how we can't use our phones during takeoff in planes or in hospitals sometimes, Li-Fi, we can use it anywhere because the, the technology that it uses doesn't uh, interfere with any sensitive radio equipment on aircrafts or other sensitive environments. There's just, oh, there's just a whole range of Li-Fi technologies that I don't have time to get into. We can use it in AR, we can use it in uh, in under for underwater communication we can use it in a variety of transportation systems and we can even use it in hospitals like I mentioned it's similar to the uh, radio frequency interference system th that limits the use of Wi-Fi in those sensitive environments and finally this is definitely the best part of Li-Fi it 
can be used universally in our homes. It is likely to be much cheaper than Wi-Fi technology and it is going to be accessible to the general public. So we, we might even replace Wi-Fi with Li-Fi as the primary data communication in individual homes. So here's just a short conclusion statement I wrote. So in the near future, Li-Fi might serve as a great complementary to wireless technology and other radio-based technologies. So it probably won't replace Wi-Fi since Wi-Fi is already so universal, universal, but it's gonna make wireless communication for the average user or average consumer much cheaper and much faster. And that is just gonna increase our uh, technologies, capabilities, and everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis by a very high magnitude and that's going to make our lives much easier so thank you for listening and i hope you like that presentation i'll be talking about other global topics or any other important topic in the mainstream news or anything that might help our day-to-day -day life just like li-fi so uh, remember to watch out for new videos thank you